Hello friends, my name is Akhil Gupta and from this video I am going to start the complete Magento 2 project development for the developers. So let's get started. Right, so in this video we will we will see what are the useful commands we have available in Magento 2 and we will run it on the command line. So let's check what are the commands we have available. So before that first I will open my uh, command prompt and I will go to my Magento 2 directory. Right, so I'm in Magento 2 directory and let's run this command one by one. So first uh, we have command to check the Magento 2 version we are currently using. Right, see we can see that our, my Magento 2 version is Magento CLI version 2.0.2. .2. So let's see, let's look at another command. It's, uh, we have commands to receive the indexer status. Right, so so here uh, we can see the status of all the indexers available in Magento 2. Here we have command to reindex. If it's not ready, then we can run this reindexing command to 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 update the uh, latest entries in the flag tables. So let's run this command. Well, this will take some time. As we can see, our indexers are getting updated in two, three, five seconds. Right, so all indexing has been completed. So here we have a command to show the indexer mode. So let's run this command. This command will display all the whatever mode is uh, currently selected for the indexer mode. So right, we can see that for all we have selected as update on save. So now we can change uh, the indexer mode from command line itself. Suppose uh, we have to change the uh, change the mode from update on save to update by CDU. So we can run this command php bin magento indexer set mode CDU catalog product category. Right, so it's changed uh, its uh, mode from update on save to update by CDU. If now we can again check the so the, uh, use the command so mode, then we will able to see it's updated by CDU. Same like if we have to re do revert like uh, from uh, uh, updated by schedule to update on save. So we have command, we have command for that. And here we will use instead schedule, here we will use the real time. So let's run this command. Right, so now again if we display the modes, then we can see all should be in update on save. Right. So these are indexers command and if you have to run the cron from the mission to do command line then we will use the simple command this. By running this command it will see you mm, we got some error. This error seems so we have a uh, uh, some uh, error in our cust in our module and it's showing that uh, not a valid uh, studio declaration. So let me fix it and come back to you. Well, I found it. In, so in one of my custom modules, it's using incorrect expression. So I will just remove one star. And now, again, I will run the cron. Right, so now run jobs by CDO. Let's see another command to enable caches. To enable Cassie, we have command PHP bin Magento Cassie enable. So let's run this command. So Cassie is uh, already enabled. So because of that, it's showing message as there is nothing to change in change Cassie status. Now let's try the disable command.
Right, so it's changed the status of current cache to disable uh, state. Here we have a command to check the status of the cache. Right, so here we can see the current status. Let me enable it again. Right, so I enable it. Now we have commands to flushing the cache, cleaning the cache. So let's execute it. plus the cases and also it's explained what other cases has been plused. We same like we have uh cache clean command also. Let's right so clean cache types it's mentioned all the cases available. Right so for cases indexing and uh, the first one we have done. Now next go to the compilation. So for compilation we have this command. If you we have been using single store, single uh, talent in into so we can use the same command. So let's run it and see the output. Well it will be a little bit time taking. Till that time, let's see the other commands. So uh, this is for uh, if we have a single dnate. If we have multi dnate, then we can use the same this command. PHP bin mesen to set up di colon compile multi hyphen dnate. After that, we have a useful command for upgrade. It's like setup upgrade. Uh, when we do any change in modules, then we need to run this command. And after the com com after this command completes, it will ask for the compilation. So let's see if it's completed or not. Yeah, it's done. So if if have a if it's displaying the detailed information what has been done using this command. So now let's run that command to set up upgrade. As we can see. This command clears the cases and file system cleanup. It refresh the database, refresh the modules. So whenever our output is not displaying, we have to run this command. So that command execution has been completed. Let's see the other commands. Here we have uh, commands to check the mesento mode. Its modes are available in mesento 2 are default, developer, and production. So let's see. So let's see what uh, what is my current mode is set. Is my current mode is set as developer. I will recommend when you are working on Mesin 2 project, then first set the mode as developer. That is for whatever you are going to see that you can see on direct browser in the log files. So we have a uh, further commands like to set the mode from developer to production. So right, if we have I have current uh, set as developer, so I will try to set its production through command line. Let's execute it. Let's look at enable maintenance mode, static contain deployment start, and same thing it's doing the things to enable the production mode. The process will be time taking. Right, so it's done. And now if I try to show the current mode, it should display the production. Oops, I think some error. Well, the error doesn't seem uh, showing much details. So let me enter the command uh, uh, php bin mesento. Set. 
that uh, static contained deploy en underscore us. Now this probably should uh, display the detail error as what happened exactly. It's making time. Well, so I'll make it fast forward to save your time. Oops, we got the error. So it's uh, basically some memory issue that is coming. Mm, right, so for that, I have to. Uh, change the memory limit from our php.ini file. Well, next, uh, next, uh, we go forward for the next commands. So we have command to check the module status, whatever modules are available in Messenger 2 that we can see using this command. So this command will display all the module status, whatever are enabled and whatever are disabled. So see if it's displaying all the modules, all my modules also and uh, these are enabled and uh, list of disabled module is none so we have all enabled module in our Magento 2 system there is the command to, st uh, to static contain deployment we just have a look as a uh, showing the error as we have to change the memory limit from php.ini file so well that's it these are the useful commands we have to use in Magento 2 framework apart from that we have a full list of commands that we can see by using this command whatever commands are available that will display So this command will display what are the commands that are available in Magento 2 framework with with its uh, uh, property. So let's see this many commands we have in Magento 2 framework. And there is a little bit info about them. Setup install, setup rollback, uninstall, upgrade. So as we see, we have run this upgrade command to upgrade the Magento application, deviate and schema. So we can get this little info by running this command. So at last we have one more command to find out uh, any help regarding any specific command. Suppose I wanted to know about setup upgrade, then we can reuse the command as mentioned. php bin slash mesento hyphen hyphen help setup colon upgrade. So let's run. So this command will display the detail of this uh, setup colon upgrade command. Uh, got some error. It seems correct, isn't it? Invalid document exceptions command is not defined. Let's type the command. Oops, I have to use double colon instead single colon. Right, so here we can see the detail info of command setup colon upgrade. So that's it. That's all the commands we have in our Magento system. And uh, apart from that, there is a full list of commands we can see using php bin slash Magento hyphen hyphen list. Right, so that's it. These commands are useful when we are.